the heartbreak and the grief is inexplainable because it's very, very hard to articulate when your entire world has been turned upside down. I do want to know, though, when I think about all of this, is that my brother wore a uniform, and he wore that uniform proudly. I'm wondering, where is the, where is the outrage for a fallen officer that also happens to be African-American? Now it's been a long night of protests turning deadly. Now two Federal Protective Service officers were shot in Oakland. It's now being reported that both officers have died from their injuries overnight. And so we were devastated. The community at large is truly, uh, we, lost, we lost a hero. The Department of Homeland Security calling the killing of 53-year-old Pat Underwood an act of domestic terrorism. Underwood was the federal officer shot and killed Friday night. An assassin cowardly shot two Federal Protective Service contractors as they stood watch over a protest. The shooting happened at the Federal Building off Clay Street in Oakland around 945. The FBI says this white van pulled up to the building near a guard shelter and one of its passengers started firing. So before you pull that trigger, before you do something that you'll regret, think about Pat's face. Think about the devastation we are all going through before you do that. A senior DHS official told ABC 7 News the shooting of the two officers are related to the protests over George Floyd's death. Underwood's family and friends say they want everyone to know more about the man with a genuine smile and huge heart. His smile, he's charismatic. He just, he was that dude when he walked in the room, you know, his spirit just lit the room up. I just think about that video over and over again. Felt like eight hours and 46 minutes. Hurt seeing my brother plead for his life. Watching that officer just put his knee on his neck. Just, every day just looking at it, being like anywhere. That's all people talk about the rest of my life. That's all I ever see. Somebody look, looking at the video. Kids had to watch the video. His kids had to watch the video. It just hurt. It's a lot of people with a lot of pain. My family. They just cry and cry every day and just ask why, why he pleaded for his life. He said he couldn't breathe. Nobody cared, nobody.